today I am sharing some bras with you. Okay, so I feel like bra shopping is always kind of a difficult thing, especially when you're your bestie. Um, it's kind of hard to find pretty bras that are made for bigger sizes. And I personally really like Fredericks of Hollywood. I'm not sponsored in any way. I wish I was. I'm not sponsored in any way. Uh, just really, I really, really love their bras. I had been looking around for bras that were fairly inexpensive, had my size, um, and were really beautiful. Affordable, my size, beautiful. <laughs> That's what I wanted. So that is something that um, has always been kind of tricky. But I feel when I developed at a pretty young age and finding good bras, it was just kind of daunting. Victoria's Secret, though beautiful, can be kind of expensive. I feel for the quality, like, I don't know. I don't really love Victoria's Secret bras. I feel like they're very overpriced. That's just my personal opinion. Anyways, Fredericks of Hollywood, I have been shopping there for a few years now, and I really like them. They are probably my most um, worn bras and also the ones that last me the longest. They like hold up throughout these years and through, through the a baggage. <laughs> so I really like Fredericks of Hollywood. That is where I shop. And they are recent. I don't know if the sale is still going on, but when I ordered this, all of the bras were 50% off. So I went kind of ham and got a ton of bras. So today I'm going to share a little bit about them. I'm going to put like the style and the uh, price and the sale price as well. So or, like the regular price and sale price so that you can take a look if maybe you're interested in them, whether it's for you or for someone you love. <laughs> um, I don't know, it might be helpful. So yeah, we're gonna be talking about them. I've already tried them all on. So I'm going to be inserting a little bit of footage of me trying them on. Um, I do have a bigger video of the whole try on process and stuff and that will be linked below if you go to my link tree there is a special page for fans <laughs> and you can go there if you want to see more but if not then you can just stay tuned here see how i feel about it and all that good stuff okay <laughs> so first bra that i try on is this one so it is very pretty okay so also for reference uh i am a 32f and I have found it with some of the bras, I don't know if they just ran out so they didn't have that size in some styles, but you can do a sister size, which typically you will go down a cup size and go up a band size so that it'll fit you. Um, this one, which size is it again? This one. Okay, so uh, again, I am typically a 32F and it is kind of weird for Hollywood. Okay, so if, if I were a 32F, typically you'd be like a, I'd be a 34E, right? If you're going down. But a 34 double D is also the same as an E typically in American sizes. So I have found that the 34 double D fits me well as, as well. Um, but I do prefer the 32 F, it just gives me the extra support typically. But anyways, so this one is a 34 double D. Uh, I do love this sheen a lot. It is kind of more padded than I thought as well. <laughs> it definitely has some of support. It's not like insanely padded, but it does, uh, have more padding than I thought it would but I love this detail in the front it's just so pretty this little crisscross here and on the back it has all of this really intricate lacing oh so pretty it fits really well so now we will insert footage of me trying it on <laughs> looks um so i will have the original price and the most of these they were between 30 to 40 some dollars originally and i got them on sale for like 20 dollars i don't think i paid more than 25 dollars for any of these bras i'm pretty sure because uh I, and then also they had free shipping i think free shipping already ended but they had free shipping so it was just like oh the stars aligned for perfect bra time so this one was really pretty it fits really well um I really like it, even these thin straps, like, I feel really secure. That's the hard part too, is when you are a bustier girl, you need thicker straps sometimes to feel really secure in the bra, but this one is actually really thin. Like see, this one right here that I'm wearing is a pretty thick one, and I feel really secure, but in this one I also felt really secure, so I'm really happy about that. Just good quality, I feel, personally, I love it. So here's the first one. Okay, so this is the next one that I turn on. It has this, I guess, uh, I don't know if it's 
leopard or cheetah print, one of those. <laughs> and it has the nude look underneath and then just a black lace overlay. And that goes all around. So the actual um, material part of it over here in the back is really thin. I don't even think it's picking up on camera how sheer it is, but it's you can kind of see my finger there. See, it's very sheer. And on the front though, it is padded. There is like light padding here, and then it has this so that you can get the actual push up if you'd like, but you can also remove them. Sometimes I like to just remove them because it feels like too much sometimes. <laughs> but it does have, uh, see this little thing here, if you want extra push up, but if not, then you can just remove it. And so I have like a little pile of them that I just kind of throw there to the side. And uh, the, the front of it has this pretty little X. So overall, I really like this one too. The straps are a little bit thicker. Um, this one, I believe when I tried it on, yeah. So when I tried it on, it felt slightly too small of a cup. Like my boobs felt just slightly too big for it. This one, did I mention, is a 34 double D, right? Yes. So I would have felt maybe slightly more comfortable in my actual size, but I believe they did not have it in this one. Well, obviously, if I got in the 34 double D's because I didn't have my actual size, but it still, it does fit. It's just it's not quite as covered in the cup as I would like, but it's still really nice. Um, I would definitely still be keeping it because I think it's still really pretty. And footage of me trying it on. Okay, next is this a beautiful blue one. Oh my goodness. When I saw it on the site, I immediately fell in love, but the second I put it on, oh, it's just so freaking gorgeous. I feel like royalty. I feel luxurious. It's just so pretty. Like, just, oh, look at this. Look at this. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. <sighs> so, this one is a lot thinner. It does have some padding, but it's a lot thinner. It does have padding down here, but again, it's very thin. I, I think on camera, it looks like it's a lot more padding than it is. But it's just like a very, very slight padding just so you feel secure. Just the cut of it is just gorgeous. Love it. Uh, the back is a lot thicker, so you feel very secure in it, which I honestly really do like. And the straps are, they're thin, but I feel secure. I felt really secure in this bra. It's probably my favorite of the bunch. It's just so gorgeous. I am looking forward to doing a set with this because I think this with a garter belt, a pretty undies, stockings, just really ugh, like the whole look, just do, do total, total glam with it. And it works for me. Like you can even kind of try to do a retro look with it. I mean, it's not quite the right style of bra, but you can, I think it could even work for it. It's just really pretty and glamorous looking. It's gorgeous. So here is the footage of me trying it. And this one is in my size. This one is a 32F. So really like it. Again, they go up to really high sizes here. That's why I love it. It's, it's all inclusive. If you have a smaller bust, if you have a bigger bust, um, different bands, like I just, I love that. It's really, like I said before, it's really difficult to find good shops that have all the sizes you need. Where's this one? Okay, next is this really pretty lilac one. I actually have, well, I'm wearing it right now, the, <laughs> the exact same size and style, but it's in black. So I wanted to get it in a different color because I really like this bra. Um, it, I feel like if it fit differently than this one fits, it didn't feel as comfortable. It felt a little small, especially on the cup size. So I don't know. I have to look at it a little bit more, but it's just so pretty. This one does give me such a retro feel. So I felt like a, just a total bombshell in it. Well, in, in the one that I'm wearing now. <laughs> but this color, so that's why I wanted a different color. But I kind of want to try it on again and wear it for a day, see how I feel. Uh, I really like that the straps are really thick, so you feel like nothing going anywhere. You know, it's really secure. The inside, there's not really padding. I, I, well, there's a little bit of padding, but I'm not really sure what this is about. I guess you can just like remove this if you want to, but it's not very thick at all. There's, it's more just padding, I think, to keep you, keep you in more than anything. Um, so this one is a 32F as well. It felt just a little small, I don't know. Might just be the style, I guess. So I think I would go up maybe. But it's more like, 
yeah just all around it felt a little small be the cup size everything so i have to look i don't know i did take off the tag because i just assumed it would fit automatically because it's the exact same size and style and everything as this one so i don't think i can return it but i'm gonna try wear it again and see how i feel about it just felt a little small i don't know but it is so beautiful here is footage of me trying it on <laughs> really pretty lilac one okay next is this lovely white one this I call my my pure one <laughs> it just looks so virginal to me so this I think is just like a really perfect everyday t-shirt kind of bra because you have everything it's a very full coverage it's you're very secure in it all around it's just all really big it's very pure uh, there is just slight slight padding inside, but you can remove the padding if you don't like it and you just want it to come out like that um, So it's really lacy and thin on the top All around it feels really really it feels like if it's really good material I think this is just like a perfect t-shirt bra or just around the house bra <laughs> And I was in need of a new white bra, so I thought that this one would be perfect. The size, this one is a 34 double D. And it did feel well. I, I feel like it might be a little bit big on the band size for me. I would have I had to put it on the very last little hooks for it to fit properly. I mean, it's still fine, it still fits. It's just usually I like to work my way down. That's typically what you want to do. I believe that's what I read somewhere. I hope I'm not wrong. Is that you typically start at the furthest hooks and then work your way over as it stretches. So this one might stretch out on me a little sooner than I'd like. But it was so comfy. So I don't know, this one's more, yeah, just like an everyday bra anyway. So I don't think it's gonna be like a sexy bra. <laughs> Although I think it was cute. I, I have this whole idea in my head of uh, this, you know, like the, the virginal horror movie female trope. I kind of want to do something with that. So we'll see. Definitely going to do something fun with it. <laughs> oh, and did I take footage of me trying it on here? Okay, and the last one. Oh, this one is so pretty. So I saw on the site, it's originally $100, but I got it on sale for about 20. This one is a 32F and you can just feel the difference. It's so luxurious feeling and the inside is just like this velvety texture. I feel like just, oh, it's such a steal. I had to get it, I had to get it. Uh, all around, it's just super silky. It has like this flower motif and pretty lace, a little peekaboo here. Actually, when I saw it on the model on the site, because you can't really zoom in on the site, so I assumed it was the, I think it's called the Belkinette bras. I thought it was going to be like, you know, kind of meshy in the middle and just lace. I didn't know that it was gonna actually have any padding or cup to it. But uh, this one actually is, is much different than I thought. <laughs> it fits really beautiful. It, like, I will insert footage here just so you can see what I'm talking about before I start talking about it. see it's very full coverage I didn't expect that I don't think I have many bras where it's just like hardly any cleavage that's kind of neat I think that it's gonna work really well with you know t-shirts turtlenecks things like that I don't think it would really work like with a, with a top like this I feel like it would be kind of weird because it would be <coughs> excuse me peeking through a lot because it is so high cut but I love that because it's going to really make sure that you are secured in <laughs> and it just feels like a classy bra it feels like an elegant bra really pretty I don't know I'm just really proud that it was so expensive and I got it so cheap I love me a deal <laughs> and inexpensive not cheap we don't want to say cheap because it does not feel cheap it's just so beautiful I'm I'm in love with this bra so much definitely happy that I picked it up I love the feel of it. Oh, it's gorgeous. So those are the bras that I picked. Again, if you are in, if you're looking for bras, I really recommend Fredericks Hollywood. I love their site. Link it down below so that you can go click over there if you'd like to. And I will hopefully remember to link each bra individually. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, and I think that's it. So if you want to see more of the try on, then you know, follow the link down below in my link tree. So you can do more if you'd like. If not, thank you for spending some time with me. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much. I hope you have a really wonderful, beautiful, fantastic day. Bye.